Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. I'm a little bit tired right now. Still getting over some jet lag while I am over here in Finland. As well as no face cam or anything because I am over here. Don't have my green screen or anything like that. But today we're doing Rush Get Crush, guys. And uh, I went back and saw one comment that said, uh, Molt, you gotta use 100 goblins, 10 healers, and all rage spells and just crush a base. So, I've got two attacks for you guys. They're really, really awesome. The second one is a lot better than the first one, but we're going to show you both attempts. Uh, the, the, they're both good in their own reason, so let's go ahead and jump into this, all right? All right, so here's the first one right here against Mr. King LB. Guys, his base is so rushed. Look at this thing. The only thing that's bad about Rush Get Crushed whenever I find rush bases like this is when they have a lot of different chambers in their base. So, as you can see... I drop off my heroes just to be kind of a wall for my goblins, but the bad thing about that, guys, is that the healers don't focus on the goblins, and so all the goblins just die. So, the next attack is when I really focus on trying to keep the goblins alive, because in this one I wanted to try and keep them alive by keeping the tanks alive, but obviously goblins are just crazy, they're so fast, they run into the base, absolutely destroy it. I'm going to drop off the rest of the goblins down here. They're still going to go in and do work for me, especially since I drop off the rage bell to keep them going. Uh, <laughs> but the heroes, once again, are the ones that steal the show. I feel like heroes are always the ones that steal the show, especially when you have healers on them because it's just ridiculous. So we've got, um, we've got all 10 of our healers alive still on the queen, focusing on her they don't focus on the king. It's sad. It's really sad that they don't focus on the queen. I'm gonna use, or they, they don't focus on the king because he goes down right there. If we'd had five healers on the king, he would have stayed up, but it's not that big of a deal. As you can see right here, we've got this air defense working on our healers right now. So hopefully the queen will go out of range very, very shortly and uh, they'll be able to stay alive. So we're about to lose our first one right there. And then that air defense is going to keep on going after them. Now, thankfully, it is a really low level defense. So it doesn't hurt them too much, but the healers right there go out of range of that other one and then right over here into range of the uh, second air defense. So we're we're losing a lot of them. They're taking a lot of damage. There's the second one down there right there. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure only two have died. It could have been three, um, but right here we're about to lose another one, guys. We're going to lose our third healer right there. I noticed something though, watch this, after one hero, or after one healer dies and the air defense keeps shooting, watch what happens, there's one missile that completely misses, and, oh no, we, we went just out of range of it, so it's not going to do that, um, it might show it on the next one, but it looked like after a healer died, um, there was one air defense, or there was one missile that was still focusing that healer, so it shoots, and it doesn't do any damage to anyone, but, here we go, we're going to take out that archer tower. Healers are in the rage spell as well. I didn't want to run out of time here, guys. <sighs> we only had like three seconds left. The healer's working her way around. The heroes, uh, I keep saying the healer is working her way around. The queen or the hero is working her way around as the healers are protecting her. Here we go with the last two buildings. We're going to take those out real quick. There goes that air D and then one, two on the... Uh, on the army camp and we are going to take that out the loot not that good obviously that's how it generally is when it comes to rush get crushed but let's go ahead and jump into this other one guys this one is awesome the goblins do work all right so in this attack guys we're attack uh, look another king we're attacking King Tate and here we go this is what we're doing on this one we're dropping off our goblins thankfully they were out of range of a lot of the defenses um, so we were able to drop off a whole bunch of them and then we're going to drop off our healers on them and they are keeping them alive right now as they go around and just absolutely wreck all of all of the loot buildings. Look at this. So they're crushing it right now. We've got one healer over here. She ends up helping out a little bit but not too much. The healers up top are doing work with those goblins. We're going to drop off a rage spell right there. They're going to split up and thankfully some of the healers split up as well. We're dropping off rage spells all over the place. We've got our king and our queen up in here. All of the loot buildings are gone now, and look at this. The goblins are destroying everything. So Look how fast they're taking out those barracks, guys. It's like one shot. Ready? And boom. <laughs> Just taking them out. All the goblins at the top, all the goblins in the middle. Absolutely crazy. Both the heroes are killing it. Everybody's killing it. Not a problem whatsoever. The goblins on this were definitely uh, the MVPs of the attack. But 
Um, I am, like I said, guys, out in Finland. I'm going to be vlogging. If you guys want to see some of those vlogs at Supersaw HQ and things like that, then make sure that you guys go over to Molt Vlogs. That's my um, vlogging channel. I'll be posting stuff up there. There's a link down in the description for it. Um, you can see that our goblins were heading their way over here. We drop off a little hay spot. I got distracted talking about the vlogs because I'm excited about them. But, um, so go check that out, guys. Sorry if this video uh, is a little tiring. I'm tired right now. Like I said, I just woke up and uh, I've got some pretty bad jet lag. So we'll see how we do the rest of the trip. <sighs> Excuse me. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I love you all very, very much. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace.